Hey, and welcome back to the Could Try Harder channel. It's been a while, I'm sorry about that. We've been camping in Bertie, which is awesome. <laughs> um, so we did an oil change, we did all that kind of normal stuff that we're not going to put on the channel really because there's a million and one videos out there showing you how to take the oil strainer out and all that sort of stuff, washing petrol. Anyway, so we've done all of that. Um, but one of the things that's been bugging us for a while is that Bertie's uh, bunk beds that you pull down inside the roof, we'll show you those in a minute, uh, they've been fraying, they're really old, I mean Bertie's 50 years old, so you know they've, they've done good service, um, they're looking a bit tatty, the metalwork's looking a bit tatty, and so Dormobile still sell bunk material for you to refurbish your own bunk beds, and so that's what we're going to do in this video. Uh, so without further ado, Come on inside, have a look at the bunk beds, and then we'll take them off and get them refurbed. Okay, so here we are. Uh, these are the bunk beds. They are really good, um, especially for kids. They fold out in a great way. It's really, really clever, the mechanism. So you pull it out, down it goes. Kids jump up in there. Good night's sleep is had by all, which is brilliant. Except that ours are looking a bit tired. So. They're frayed at the end. You know, it's it's time for a refurb. We've got some some rust. The metal's a little bit little bit tired, and so we're going to take this out. Uh, we're going to take it all apart. We're going to fit new material, and then we're going to put them back in again. Uh, I am going to need a 12 mil for there, and for some reason we've got rivets in there, so we'll be drilling those out. Okay, that's those loosened off. the window mm -hmm. all the windows come out. Yeah. Okay, so the next job is to drill out these rivets. These rivets hold on like a plastic cover. Uh, they don't look too bad on this side. On the other side they're all rotted away so I've had to make some more metal ones. I might be able to reuse these. That's, uh, it's always nice to have the originals. So I'll drill, drill out those rivets and then we'll be able to take the ends off and I'll clean it up. Come on, how are you how are you still on? Oh can't be on now. Yay! Ah. That's hot. That's what they look like. So this is what you're left with. 
hope you're not getting too much of my groin in the shop. <laughs> There's no hole in the back side of that, that's probably why. Right. Okay. Oh, well, one down. Three to go. I'll do this one. Mail for the win. For the win. These are the other ones. Ah. You can see it all starting to They're, rot. Yeah. Even plastic break. Old plastic breaks down with the UV. But it's, it's interesting that the other side, obviously not used as much, I don't think, and pulled the bed probably hasn't been pulled out as much. Probably. Um, the material's still gone, look, if you look at it. Um, there we go. There you go, one mechanism. Got it. Some of this one is in well. Hmm, it's a bit all the way out. Maybe not. Let's mm. go. Too much. Mm, that could only, be. I only partly know what I'm doing. <laughs> Super. So we can stick those on the bench, drill the rest of the way through. There's a hole that goes all the way through, look, so you can yeah. drill the rivet out. Awesome. Here's a new one. I've got some rivets that fit. Yeah, that's great. Super. Super. Let's get the paint taken off these so that we can repaint them again. Uh, it's all, it's not a rust, not too bad, and it all works pretty well. But uh, we're going to use the initially going to use a pillar drill. I've already started this one. Going to use a pillar drill and a uh, brush attachment. And uh, it'll do a good job of getting the paint off, and then we'll go with Scotch Bright and uh, get rid of the rust. So we'll uh, we'll do that. Cool. Here we go.
old English white. So I've painted both of the ends, uh, the bits that fold out, and they're looking really good. Uh, it's all in old English white that you saw before, and so what we're doing now is we are putting the things back together. One end, or rather one bar, uh, and I'll show you how we go about doing the second bar, because it's pretty much all the same. So what I've got is I've got a hole punch, which to be honest I've only ever used before for punching holes in leather belts. Um, what else have we got? We've got a hammer, got a wooden block, got a rivet gun, and got a craft knife. And so essentially what I'm doing is I'm feeling out where the holes are, because basically what you've got is you've got a hole that lines up, and it's basically it's two. There's nothing behind that one. But in this hole, um, you can see that there that goes through the the hole in this piece in the actual hinge itself so need I need to line those up make sure they're lined up and we push the material back then we will uh, actually bang a hole in two holes rather in the fabric to make sure that that uh, is in the right place and we'll get one of the plastic plastic hinges these things here they will then go over there Put that on there, we'll put rivets through, we'll rivet it on, and then we'll do the same at the other end, and that will be this done, and we'll be ready to bolt it back in. So uh, that's the plan. Actually, let's use a smaller hole punch. Nicely riveted on bed piece. Let's do the other one, and then we're ready to put the put the camp bed camp bed bunk back in the van. Are we lined up? We are not lined up. Look at that, how good is that? Let's see how good it is. 
it's a warm one today so apologies if I'm sweating <laughs> it's not a particularly hard job I think when we were looking at it we were thinking Crack, that might be quite hard but um, you, you proved that well, it can be done it's the <laughs> 70s everything was made to be fixed <laughs> not like today where everything's made and glued together and made for you to never fix it throw it in the bin right yeah so little tip if it's not quite lining up if you've got a bigger hole punch you can put the bigger hole punch over and tap tap the rivet down a bit yeah yeah Sure it's seated nicely. I don't know why I do everything as a how to. This isn't a how to. I'm trying to figure it out myself. <laughs> Riveters are available. When they are uh, stainless steel, obviously uh, we're trying to use the same Fastener. fasteners, and yeah, we're just cleaning them off. Wire brushing the drill press. It's quite hot though. Yeah, I can imagine. Not sure, sure if the bolts are stainless, certainly they're not. So. see where they all have to go yeah i'm glad i spent all that time painting it nicely <laughs> yeah let's keep sliding it backwards and forwards right. once you get a couple of bolts in life should be easier you know yeah See much that side apart from me holding it. No. More funny noises. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. If that rivet doesn't look good, I'll put a nut and bolt in there. Okay. I'm not sure you can though, because it's almost like it's. Uh... You can rivet the other side. Then. Mm, huh? I know. Have to see. Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> see, even I don't know right now. Okay. Did you your finger? Yeah. Well, let's do what we can. Mm. I'm 
Yes, for a <laughs> Blessing, they are an absolute blessing. Right. Right. Okay. That end. This side would be easier to do with a ratchet. When we do the bellows and the roof. Yeah. I'll repaint this as well. Yeah. But it'll be for now. So we're in. We've got both sides in. We're in. It needs a wipe down. Yeah. Some... Okay, so here we go. Uh, we've got both of the bunks in. They're done. Refurbed. Let's take you for a tour. <laughs> Nicely repainted. Obviously, we'll do that other section. The pretties. <laughs> 